Welcome to the Vortex, the Time Vortex. This is Strato, Time Lord Strato, here for another episode of Minecraft Let's Play Server. Um, for today, well, I've been doing some digging in the mines the last couple of days, working on collecting stuff in here, going down passageway after passageway. You can some minor readjustments here and there. I think I'm enjoying the full cover for the most part. And just, just step down and away we go. Oh, oh, it's on me. I thought I had put some in here. Put a bunch of stuff in here, actually, but... And then we'll take half of... No, we don't need half a stack of cobblestone from here. We just need the other things I came down with that I put away temporarily. I'll grab the last one from here. And the full stack of coal. So yes, I'm still doing some digging across, I'm collecting more materials for things. I still need to transfer some other things around so I can get some hoppers back. Go away, skeleton. Bones, where's bones and arrow was supposed to go in the dropper. That's why I'm using droppers, not dispensers, because otherwise, if it was a dispenser, you'd hear as the arrow would want to thunk into the wall. You remember last episode, we got the face on. I did have to do some minor changes. I extended the face over by one block and shrunk it over by another because. Because, 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 if you might notice, there's something a little different. There's a couple things that are different. Because I figured out, oh, I figured out, how to make the whole system work in 1.9 and 1.10.2. With only a minor fix. So everything's pretty much the same. The only thing that's different is instead of having a 1, 2, and a torch right here... You have a one, two, a half slab to go over the torch that's right there. Another two blocks, and then your torch with redstone on top, with an additional block here to get the signal over to here. So that's change one. Change two is on the block down here on the bottom. I came underneath, so when this block gets powered from above, it powers into there, but doesn't power down here. But, actually what it does, it, it might do that anyways. But when this block gets powered from this guy over here, it sends a signal down here. I have two repeaters on a full tick delay, because if you don't have that, it'll create a constant power stream, and it will break the system. So that's why you have the delay, and then the... Then the power line comes up these half slabs, boop, 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 up right into the side of this comparator, right in so into the side of the comparator, which resets the comparator. Now, the next couple of things you need to do, well, I said everything's the same, the only difference is, instead of coming off the side right here with your hopper, you want to come this way. You want to come this way. So you, so I would stop right here in actuality, because this would be a hopper, and then I would access my brewing stand from here. I would still have my hopper coming in from the side here, putting in your water bottles. You still have your hopper coming in from the top for your ingredients. The only difference for you 1.8, 1.10ers, is that this hopper right here on the side will come into here, and then you might hopper up, and then come over here, or you'll 
Maybe you'll hopper up. Maybe you'll have like a double chest right here on top. It's a possibility you could do a double chest right here. Though I kind of suggest it, suggest against it for limited space. That's why I suggest going a hopper out, a hopper up, then maybe your double chest, and then a hopper in and a double chest and a hopper in and a double chest. But I even doubt that being a real big thing. I mean, you'll have to do. Um, come on, brain function. I said you'll ha you're gonna have to do another comparator and probably another lamp on top. That'll be like right there, so you can have a, another uh, blaze powder one for the blaze powder that is in the brewing stand to power the brewing stand which was the most annoying thing that kind of broke a lot of the systems but as I said with the little with the little extension on the one see we half slab over that and then we come down here and the little zigzagger going up to the top right there that resets the system which is which is actually makes it work just like it would work here in 1.8. So it pretty much puts it right back on the same system of being a fully automatic system. Mine just gives you the chance of having a incredibly fully automatic system. I mean, if you're dealing with stuff that witches drop, and you have a lot of nether wart, and I mean a lot. Because I mean, still trying to see if I can figure out if I can automate nether wart. But for the most part, if you can get that to work, you can pretty much then, I said pretty much then, you just get these guys, I mean the ones that are, uh, the ones that you get from witches like sugar, spider eye from spiders, um, and then you get redstone and glowstone and gunpowder from the other things. I mean, you can technically do an infinite potion of speed setup. Which is kind of weird, but okay. But as I said, you can also do it. Yeah, this is just to indicate that it's that. Okay, I should stop rambling on about that. I need that. I thought that guardian fish tail was something else. Oh uh, no, not that. I want that in there. I'm no longer filtering it into the che into the floor slash chest below because it was going to be like hanging above the floor below. That was going to look tacky. So that's why I went with the whole system going through to the wall behind. So, got me some stuff here, and I need some more wood for making chests. Let's grab this one over here and throw my resources up there, except for diamonds. We'll add them to my collection of growing diamonds. If you guys want to join me on the server, it's tier6realms.net. I guess I'll start putting a link in the uh, description below if you guys are interested in coming over I'm like I don't mind if you guys come over I just say don't don't steal from each other do try to be polite to each other I mean if, if you're friends and you want to prank each other that's fine that's perfectly fine I have a random chest over there I mean if you come over here and you know snitch some food or whatever that's okay just don't come over here and like murder all my cows <laughs> Because that's just mean. Because then I gotta go get more cows, or rabbits, or pigs, which I still gotta do the reset for these guys. 
I've been doing some tests and some testing world things, so I'm, I know what I can do with the pigs. I think I can do it similarly with... and I think I can do something similar with the rabbits. Which will allow me to actually do a... I'm gonna have to expand the pig one by a little bit. Which is fine, which is fine. And raise it up maybe? Yeah, doubt it. And then the rabbit one's probably gonna have to get a little extended, but other than that... Should be good. Actually get those working for once. Um, I should probably get a stair of some kind down there to even it out. I don't know. Yes, with my mining expedition down below, I've been getting quite a lot of resources, though I've mainly been after iron. Why is that chest? Oh, that chest there's for bone meal. Because I need to go into the wall over here, or over there, one of the two. I think I'll do it over there, because I think there's the water stream, and if I do it with the water stream, then I can make a bunch of bone meal. No, I need to figure out where I'm going to... I think I'm going to do my bone meal upstairs, and do a connection from upstairs coming through the floor and then down over here and into here. But that's for another time. Because again, that requires lots of iron, lots of iron, lots of iron. I did get a lot of iron when I mined out the basement, but I've been using a lot of iron as well. Jump this. Over here to my tree farm. Because I need some wood for chests. It's one chest, two chest, three chest. Well, well, I know I've got holes over here because I was thinking, well, maybe I'll go this way, maybe I'll go that way. Did I get that set up right out? Yes, so now that will only accept apples, so I can pretty much cover that up. I completely changed my mind on this section, and I did not think this over. There we go. Because I'm going to fill in that spot. because I decided on putting all my hoppers over here. Uh, that's that way. That way when I get enough that way when I get enough hoppers to get over to here, so when all my items come down the stream and drop, they'll fall into the hoppers, get shot up over there into that water stream, continue their way around, get dropped, get put into another water stream, get popped up, and go all the way upstairs into the sorting system. And so I will definitely have to work on getting those areas sorted out as well. Is there, uh, just an axe about ready to break in here. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. should be an even number. I miscounted one of them, because every two blocks of wood is equal to one chest. And then we put that there, and well then we'll see. How many more we need past that?
There we go. That is perfect. Now put a torch over here so nothing spawns right here. Ah, don't get stuck in the hopper. Don't need that weird hopper sticking glitch going on. And then I can cover that up. And then what I was planning on doing... There it goes. Pretty sure I lost it. Give me that. Thank you. So what I was thinking about doing to make it more even was just extend this by one level and then putting three rows of my chiseled stone bricks right here to cover up the stairs so that we're not accidentally dropping items and so on and so forth. Should I put that under the light? Right. I wanted to get some cobblestone to put down here to refill, and I have another issue. Okay. I think. Does this one go anywhere? Really? It goes to a redstone torch right there. Alright, that's to my light, if I remember correctly. That's fine, that's fine. That's fine. I just need some cobblestone for hole filling. Oops. That's why I was gonna go up there. That way I don't have to step on these and get a weird glitch sometimes you can get from hoppers where you can get stuck in a hopper. Like, I'm stuck in the hopper! No! That's no fun. I thought I got all of them. There's nothing in it. Interesting. I somehow lost a stair piece. I didn't hear go click, 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 click. Plenty of saplings. And I think, yep, I did run out of uh, bone meal. But all I did was plant a regular tree then. I mean, I could do this, but that could be annoying until that tree grows. That's that's the hopper, not the actual thing. So I do that and that. I did that because you can parkour this, and then I'll just have to build myself to the ceiling later. Oh, I should have had more plans for this episode than just that. I've been trying to get a lot of other stuff, and then I need to move a lot of stuff around. Almost 
feel like I should get more hoppers right here. Just do like a hopper there, hopper there, hopper there, hopper there. Try to catch items falling to the sides. Or maybe I should not care about being on the sides and just only being in front. Put a block that put some blocks there and some blocks over there, so all you can do is stand right here. Doesn't really matter. Hey, there's some wheat right there. I can make me some bread. Speaking of wheat. Potatoes and carrots. My farmers seem to just be standing around, not doing anything. Not this one. It's the one over here. It's got the food stuffies. So you have potatoes and carrots. I can't really do anything about the wheat without seeds. Fun, good villager. Hello, sir. Here you are. At least I just wish he was working. But I need seeds for that. And if I want seeds, what do I gotta do? I probably gotta travel to the tower to get some seeds. To throw at him. Oh boy, oh boy. Unless I have Lucky enough to have some extra stuff up here. I've got more carrots. I need a lot more seeds than I need carrots or potatoes. I believe. Because I need my whole hot bar full of seeds. For the one. has started planting. Come on. Ah. ah. No. I want to leave it for him. Try to lure him out of his little hidey hole. You know what? Get out of your hole.
Yes, much better. He's happier now, too. But would you like some more? I could have just paid for bread, too. Fancy? That work? Go oh, ahead and reset you. Another pumpkins. Another melons. Oh, I give you some more carrots. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Get you healed to full, buddy. Now you can go have fun planting all the potatoes you want. You're not feeling so good, eh, buddy? Hey, bud. Let's see. Did that help you out a little? Yes! Congratulations, I'm glad you're feeling better, too. Now you're doing fine. I think you just ran out of seeds for some reason. That at least got the other two villagers planting again. Thank goodness. Mm, felt like I threw my pickaxe or something. Man, wouldn't that be creepy if you walked up to this thing and it looked like you were just going to walk right into a pool of lava. But the glass was so clear. Just be a little freaky, right? Do I have a regular pickaxe? I do. We'll give a small little indentation right here. Like, why are you doing an indentation? Because I've learned... that there is actually another fortress down this way. Or not another, not another fortress, but a, 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 a fortress, you know, to go to, like, the end. There's also another mine shaft over here. I'm just going to start this off really quick while I'm over here. 
because I know you guys don't want to watch me just dig a hole, dig a hole, dig a hole, dig a hole. And then I have a door. And back on my minecart, and away we go. It's only in that center section between the waters that I know that it was noticed. I'll have to dig down there and go adventuring in these realms, huh? Get closer to that end for entrance entrance. Because with my automatic brewing stamp nearly complete. Just needing some supplies and a couple item elevators. And enough hoppers to transport the items around. It'll be very fun to see that thing in action. My old little base for any support. Any simple surprises that might be left over here. Though this was more of just a temporary little spot. For nothing major, major. I mean, just a little tiny spot for, you know, getting access to. A little bit of wheat when needed, because I said this was where I was when I was digging my tunnel. And apparently that used all of that. There's lots of stuff here. This is technically a little house that somebody could move into if they wanted it. Alright guys, I'm going to hold the episode here. I'll probably put out the second half of this episode tomorrow. Sorry that's running a little long this time, but... It happens sometimes. This is Strato Time, Lord Strato, signing out.